Hey, how's it going? People have allergic reactions or just in general uh, chemical, biological reactions to different things, molecules, chemistry, you name it, biology, germs. So, how we deal with that is actually based on our genetics. It's based on our food processing. It's based on our body sizes and every little detail about who we are. So, uh, our construction can be somewhat unique uh, based on the differences that appear uh, chemically and biologically. So, basically, all together, this video is really going to be considerably, in general, uh, for the la lame man, uh, basically called allergies. Allergies can pertain to inflammation, uh, cancer. They can pertain to, in general, if you really think about what an allergy is and how it works, an allergy could be a lot of things. Uh, a virus is essentially an allergy. Uh, they, doctors don't always consider these things allergies, but in my opinion, it's an allergy. It's a foreign body. It's a foreign concept. It's a foreign particle. It's something that causes your body not to do what it should normally do at its best. And therefore, it's an, aller an allergic re reaction. So, this is my short video about allergies. So, we're going to go up here. And we're going to type in what's the percentage of people with allergies. Worldwide allergic rhinitis affects between 10 and 30 percent of the population worldwide. Sensi sensitization IgE antibodies to foreign proteins in the environment is present in up to 40 percent of the population. In 2012, 7.5 percent or 17.6 million adults were diagnosed with hay fever in the past 12 months. Okay, so I mean, okay, so worldwide sensitization to foreign proteins in the environment is present in up to 40% of the population. So everybody probably has a potential allergen, allergenic effect. Uh, I've got a, a, cat, a stainless steel bracelet on my wrist that is considered hypoallergenic, but it causes other problems where the cover of the surface of my skin from the bracelet causes maybe a bacteria growth or a fungal growth or something like that. And it eventually turns into some type of allergenic reaction. So, uh, consider it an allergy. Uh, it's a sign. It's a certain... It, it may be separated. Allergies may be separated from other effects of medicine. Um, other effects of biological effects itself. But I'm going to generically say an allergy is a sign of inflammation, itching, reactions, uh, pain, uh, confusion, mental illness, uh, you name it. It's all possibly a sign of an allergy. You know, poisoning could be, can cause an allergy. Uh, even, even when you have heart defects from a poisoning, 
uh, you might be considered having an allergy. It's not quite an allergy, but it is a reaction, so therefore they're kind of similar. So it, it plays in the reaction role. And you're having a reaction, whether it's allergic, may mean that it's either a positive or negative feedback loop. Allergic pertains to the positive feedback loop, maybe so more, and just a basic, any kind of reaction is probably more so possibly a negative feedback loop. So, uh, you got to look at it different ways, but it'll basically perform to be a reaction. Having some kind of bad reaction, it ain't working. It's causing problems. You know, it's a pretty cheap statement, but it works.